My name is Abrisha. I'm a visual artist out of Southern California. My style of art, I would say, is abstract expressionism. Um, not one of my pieces usually mirrors the other. I don't like the idea of feeling restricted to create one thing and one mood. Um, I want my art to be an expression of me. What I found when I was younger, I remember just feeling really misunderstood in my verbal communication. Um, you know, I felt like my mind would go faster than my actual mouth could keep up with. And so I would always feel frustrated when I'd speak to people um, and just try to express how I was feeling. Over time, I found that creating art allows me the opportunity to express myself, um, but then also share my gift with the world. I actually got introduced to art when I was in high school. Um, my art instructor, she gave us a painting assignment and I chose to do this portrait of Nellie. And when I completed the assignment, she was blown away and she goes, you know, you're a natural painter. For me, I didn't know what that meant, but what I realized later is that I had this gift for blending and utilizing brush to kind of create um, these unique color and contrast. So what's interesting is I think the reason that I do a mix between figure art and abstract expression is because when I do figure art, it's very intentional, right? It's something that really inspired me and moved me to want to create and put on the canvas. But I don't like feeling stuck in a box. So when I do my abstract art, it literally allows me to just have no intention. There's no rules. It's so hard to go intentionally to, do, to an abstract piece because it's going to become what, it's, what it becomes. Music plays a really important part in my creativity. Usually I'll put music on that describes my mood and how I'm feeling. I'm just uniquely me. I don't try to create abstract that looks like any other artist. Um, while I find so much inspiration through a myriad of talented, amazing artists, I always am intentional about just staying true to how I create. I remember trying to create in different ways because I thought like, I wanna create like this because it's so moving. And what I found is, no, you have to create like you. You can let things inspire you, but you have to be true to what's in your hand and what the gift is that you have to share with the world. I find that I'm inspired by being. There's this sense of being that I've tapped into over the years. Um, I remember there was a time where I never thought I would paint again. I had taken five years off and I just didn't think that it was in me. And when I just stopped and allowed myself to be who I am, um, I tell everyone I show up as myself everywhere I go now. And I think that's, that's what inspires my art, is to not really have to be rigid on how I create or what the paintings will look like anymore. Just allow them to be who they are because they're created for someone. And that someone is gonna feel that art and really be moved and so you have to allow those pieces to be just as much. My goal as an artist is to be able to use art to change the perspective of the spaces that people um, share. I want my art to bring new energies, new light, um, and really self-love. I think that's one of the biggest things that I've gone through on this journey, and I really just intend for that to be something that people can remember me by, of how the art made them feel, um, and really the positive message that comes with it, whether it's overcoming triumph, um, or just really loving yourself and recognizing the energy and the power that you are.